all my employees come from the local Bayaka tribe. They have great forest skills. They keep me out of harm's way. Um, they see things long before I even am aware of them. Every day, Andrea sets off with her loyal helpers on the 45 minute walk to the Bai. It's a routine she's stuck to for 20 years. Today, like any other day, she has no idea who or what she might see. Oh my God, it's good, Kay. I can't believe she's come back. I haven't seen her in about six months, and she's still able to keep up with her group, and she's still walking. It's not uncommon for calves to be born with disabilities. What's unusual is that Guki has survived for so long. Unlike on the savanna, there are no large predators here, which might explain why. But life in the forest for a disabled calf is by no means easy. What really amazes me about this individual is if you think about walking in the forest, the mother must come to obstacles like fallen trees. So she's evidently accommodating the, the female with the, you know, the handicap because she's keeping up with the group. Otherwise, she would just get lost in the forest, left. Now, this place never ceases to amaze me, the things you see. Even though Andrea sees individuals only rarely, she's been able to piece together their life stories. She couldn't have reached this extraordinary position without first learning how to pick out faces from the crowd. By mid-afternoon, the crowd can be 140 strong. To keep track of so many individuals, Andrea drew pictures of their ears, which get ripped and torn in distinctive ways as they move through the jungle. She had over 4,000 identity cards before she realized her phenomenal memory was taking over. I think the big breakthrough was when you realized you knew the elephants, you felt empowered. You could just go out there and look and you knew them. Like you would see someone on the street in your hometown and recognize them.